Hi everyone, my name is Ksenia and welcome to my channel. This is actually my very first video, so let me tell you a little bit about myself. I'm a portrait and fashion photographer based out of Washington DC and I've been doing photography for the past 10 years and it's been my full-time job for the last 4 years. So in this video I'll take you behind the scenes at one of my maternity photo shoots that I did recently. Um, half of the photo shoot we did in the studio and half of it we did outside on location. It's actually near my house, we went to this beautiful field at the sunset. You'll see that my client, she's originally from Nigeria and she wanted to bring a lot of cultural flavor into her photo shoot. So when we were originally talking about setting up the photo shoot, she sent me some inspiration pictures and a lot of the pictures that she sent me was in the field in the open space and I thought it was just perfect for the location that I had in mind that's actually just in the back of my neighborhood. And the funny thing is that when she saw the first previews from the photo shoot that we did in the field, she was like, oh my god, it looks just like home. And this is what I want to hear from my clients. I don't want to take just pretty pictures, I want the pictures to have meaning behind them for my clients. So another thing you should know about me is that I work with a lot of fashion bloggers and influencers here in Washington DC area, but I also work with a lot of non-models and clients who don't know how to pose, so I actually had to teach myself how to direct people in front of the camera so they feel comfortable, but at the same time they look great in the pictures. And I actually get a lot of compliments from my clients saying that it was very comfortable and easy working with me, and I made it easy for them to be in front of the camera. Uh, and I usually tell them like, hey, look, the first five minutes will be awkward, but then you'll get a hang of it and it's gonna get easier. And another thing you should know about me is that most of my shoots are done on a very tight budget. So I like to get creative and use simple things to create beautiful effects in the photos. So even if you're just starting out, uh, you can already use whatever you have, whatever equipment you have to create beautiful high-end looking photos. And I'll show you how to do it. So if you'd like to learn more about that, please subscribe to my channel, look out for my new videos, and follow me on Instagram at Ksenia Pro Photo. Alright guys, hope you're gonna enjoy this video, and I'm gonna explain more about the shoot behind the scenes in the voiceover. Hey guys, Ksenia here. I'm waiting for my client. Today we're doing a maternity session. It's going to be quite interesting because we're going to be doing it partly in the studio and we're going to go outside uh, to shoot at the sunset with uh, some external lights. So that's going to be something different. And here at the studio, uh, I'm building a setup with this orange color you see behind me because um, uh, she's Nigerian and she wanted to incorporate a lot of cultural aspect to her photo shoot and we, it's gonna be a lot of color and for the outside I'm really excited because she has uh, very cool styling involved for her maternity session um, so let's see how it looks and here at the studio I have off-white walls it's quite a small space actually and we'll be using uh, Fadi Marco with 2470 2.8 as my primary lens, I might have to switch it for like a 50 or 35, we'll see how it goes. And I'm using just one light, and basically the wall on the opposite side is gonna be serving as a reflector. So we're using this parabolic umbrella, and I have my flash inside. So I already turned it on, and I will we'll control the settings. I'm using uh, manual mode on my flash, and I'm just controlling the settings with this remote control over here with a trigger. We actually have a light that's hitting the backdrop right over there, so I have to move it because um, the sun is setting down and the light just changed on me. And the way you're doing your hands, just everything has to be soft. Mm -hmm. Shake it. A lot of shots, we're going to do one pose and just like different you know, facial expressions. Mm -hmm. So we'll see what works best and then we can choose the one to do with that. It's so pretty. Yes, I love that. You can look down, like just eyes there. Wow, they're beautiful. You made a bit of a smile as you look down, just like you look so pretty. Nice and tense with the tip of your tongue, and you shape it. Yeah, like that. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful, just looking at me. Good. It's almost like a little dance. Yeah, like that. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, soft eyes. Beautiful. You can have more of that. Beautiful. And lips open just a bit. And soft smile. You're quite a blinker. It's just the lashes. Okay. Yeah? Okay. So let's do like looking down that way. Yeah, it was this hand. 
That's beautiful. Yeah. And the other hand that's on the stomach, let's just bring it in here. We keep touching you here, your neck looks right over here. Okay, let's go for the Beautiful. And maybe smiling, laughing. Maybe like bouncing your hair like a little bit more. Hey, hey, hey. Oh my God. Yes! Last song like that. Okay, relax. <laughs> So when I work with my clients, I usually try to get a variety of poses. But with maternity poses, there is only so much you can do. But I still try to get a front straight on shot, side shots, sitting down, maybe lying down on the floor. You feeling good? Mm -hmm. and it's very straight towards me here. But I want you to kind of like lean towards me a bit. Yeah, like that. Maybe chin down. Yeah, that's beautiful. Sit right. Let's go. Let's Good. And soft your hands around your belly so you keep a lot of tension here now. Just like go, like, rub that around. That's it, beautiful. Mm -hmm. Soft little smile on your lips if you can. Okay. Rub that. Okay, I like that. And now you can move it, make sure you face a little bit. Yeah, like that. And go kick your head a bit soft. But feel it. Right there. Okay, do it again. Yes, that's a beautiful. Again, it's a, like a lot of tip and toeing and like shaping it. <laughs> and I like it facing that way because the sunlight hits your face in a pretty way. Okay, yeah, like that. And it's almost like facing that way. Oh my god, it looks so beautiful. And eyes only from there, shrink it. Yeah, I like that. Okay. So beautiful down, good, and just eyes on me from there, relax a little bit. When I pose my clients on the floor, especially with maternity sessions, first of all, I ask them if they're okay with that, if they're comfortable with the pose. And then second of all, try to help him get them up and get them down because it's physically challenging getting on the floor when you're like six to nine months pregnant. And in this case, I also used a small towel rolled under her head, so it's easier for her to hold the pose. So I moved to a field nearby and it's the perfect timing because the sunset is just about to start. Okay, go forward into the sunset. So we got on location about an hour before the sun was setting down, so it was the perfect golden sunlight and golden hour. It was quite challenging taking pictures at first because I had a lot of flare in my lens so I couldn't see much what was going on in front of the camera until I took the picture even though I had the lens hood on. I was shooting with 7200 mostly in between 135 and 200 millimeters just to get that compressed background effect. And if you notice, I tried to compose my shot the way that the model was against the darker color background so we can see that rim light that's gonna separate her from the background. So the darker tree line in the background served as a darker color to accentuate that rim light on her hair and her face. And also for some of the shots, I let the sun through the lens to get the flare for the dreamy look. So while the sun was still high in the sky, I used only natural light and only later when some of the color in the sky started showing up, we used external light to create that dramatic effect. This looks gorgeous! How long? 10 years. Oh my God. <laughs> Actually, stay right there where you are, just point your stomach. It's gonna be like a silhouette kind of shot. So pretty! They are! You are pretty! Also, once in a while, if I know that I nailed a shot, I like to show it to my client to encourage them and to show what we're actually getting on camera. Yeah. 
See how hard it's touching you like your neck feels? Let's we'll see if that works. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like that. just right over there. That is beautiful. When the sun was starting to set behind the tree line, we moved to another side of the field and I set up the extra light. It was actually just the flash shooting through the softbox. So I balanced natural light with flash and the idea behind is to expose for the background and just add extra light for the face of the model. And because it was still pretty bright, my flash was almost at the full power. I think I shot with half of the power. So that slowed us down a little bit because I didn't have an external battery pack. So I was missing some of the shots, but we still got a few that look really great. Down. Okay, I have to wait for the flash. Okay, now. Oh my god, one more time. I just got a blank, but it looks amazing. This is B shot. And if the flash didn't fire, I was honest with my client. I explained that it was on full power, so we had to wait for the flash to recharge, and she was totally fine with that. Okay, one more. Sorry, it didn't work. Take time to recharge. Let me wait for it. Okay. Oh my God. Okay, beautiful. All right, let's change it up a little bit. got the last shots of the night and the skies are beautiful today don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like that and don't forget to follow me on instagram at ksenia pro photo all right guys see you in the next one bye